All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Golder System mod, which is being made by forum user Gurren Login. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an entirely new star system for you to go and explore. Though, that being said, there is a version of this mod that just adds the planets of this pack into the stock solar system so if you don't want a new star then you can grab that one and uh yeah this is actually a mod that's been around for a while and i meant to look at ages ago but lost track of it until it recently updated to 1.7.1 uh, so still not quite up to date with the latest version of the game but still it is here and i probably should point out one more a little graphical thing you guys have probably noticed here no the buildings aren't brick that um that's the light coming off of the new red dwarf star which uh <laughs> it's kind of illuminating things a minor visual bug but hopefully it's fixed in the future but who knows well let's uh, jump into the tracking station and go have a look at our new solar system now let's uh, zoom out of course to our standard solar system a lovely system it is and if we continue to zoom out you can see the golder system all the way over here and that is going to be one heck of a long journey if we zoom into here you we can start to see the orbits of the various planets around the new golder star and if we continue to zoom in we get of course Golder itself, which is a nice little red dwarf though. I must admit. I'm not a huge fan of the kind of awkward halo thing sitting around this but still a fun new star and its size is of course 18,000 kilometers now let's move to the first of the planets Halkuser which I think may be my favorite of all the planets and that's because as you may see it's it's a gas giant with rings and you guys know me I love ringed worlds plus look at just all the wacky orbits of its moons that makes for a pretty interesting place to go and explore you've got just moons going all over the place and that's pretty interesting now of course we zoom into here it is a pretty large gas giant at 3312 kilometers in a radius with of course an atmosphere being a gas giant and all but please don't explore it that'd be bad and the tilted rings are quite fun if not entirely realistic, but hey, it's cool looking. So the next, uh, or the first rather, of its moons is Thisser, which is quite the spiky little moon with a very cool range right here. I do really like that. It's, you know, just entirely mountainous and then you get this sort of lull in the mountains and then a nice big one right there. Now the size of this place is 107 or 187 kilometers in a radius and no atmosphere to speak of. Now the next we have a Bitagy, which is kind of a muddy looking world. Once more, no atmosphere, 57 kilometers in size, but a lot of good topography to make it a very interesting moon to go visit. Now, after that, we have Natizi, which is so very purple. And, uh, yeah, kind of cool. I like it. Very purple, though. And it's 85 kilometers in size. Once more, no atmosphere. And is the farthest moon out from our glorious gas giant. Now, next, we move on to the second planetary body here. Another gas giant with an awesome ring. And this is Fernilli. Another large one at 3,060 kilometers in size. And, uh, yeah, just kind of like it. Different coloring uh, compared to some of the other things we have here. And just cool to have another gas giant with some more rings. And in fact, more rings than the previous world. And then we have a Ulysses here, another planetary body, 1,283 kilometers in size, another gas giant. A lot of gas giants here. And I very much like the coloring on this world. Kind of tie-dye-ish. I enjoy that. And it has a lovely little moon in Nykar here, which is just a rocky little thing with 280 kilometers in a radius. And once more, no atmosphere to speak of. And then we have Paor, another gas giant, the largest of them at 6,285 kilometers in radius. A very dark world, which, uh, you know, it is quite far out from all the stars. I mean, 
And there it is all the way over there. And all in all, just another cool gas giant. And that is it for the planetary bodies in the Goldar system. And it's a pretty cool little pack. I do very much enjoy it. I prefer the sort of inner planetary bodies here. This one, though kind of cool, I don't know. I just kind of find it a little bit more boring than uh, all the other planets in here. But all in all, though, a fun new star system to go and play around in. And if you don't want it to be another star system, as I mentioned, you can just download all these planets to be added in to the normal stock system. But yeah, this one right here. Now, Qs are definitely my favorite world. So let's go and jump into our satellite we have in orbit to have a bit closer of a look. And then that'll be it for uh, this episode today. And look at just those glorious green rings. It just looks so good. I do really enjoy these things. I mean, you guys know me. I'm a sucker for any ringed thing in general. But uh, yeah, I love the green color to it. It's very cool, very neon, and in my mind... Just a fun place to come and see. So, if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be looking at getting another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!